Hello there, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be making a modern supercar. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get to this. Okay, I go with a partial carbon fiber panel material and a carbon fiber frame chassis. I go with a V12 engine, which I think is good. I put a turbo on it to make more power. I gave it I gave it a I made it go up to 10,000 rpm, which is a lot. It got to a one 1100 uh, kilowatts of power and 1700 newton meters of torque. This is the body that I chose. I am just um, shaping it right now. Gave it a all wheel drive uh, drive type. Uh, made it dual clutch transmission. Gave it carbon ceramics. Three piston. Only two seats. Made it sit really low, I'm just chaining it right now. Stiff suspension. Has zero comfort at all, even though it's supposed to be a hypercar and it's supposed to be luxury at the same time, but I was really just making it for speed. Got a, a 0 to 100 of 2.1 seconds, which I think is pretty good. Oh, really good, it's the, I think it's the fastest you can get in the game, but yeah. I think it's a bit faster in BMW G Drive though. If there was no wheel spin. Now I'm just designing the body. I didn't really have a design I was going for. Not really. I did have a look at supercars of like around 2020 because it's 2020, and I decided to go with this because you, know, you can't see some of these headlights, but like. You have a bit and then it loops down there, down the further. I think the front looks kind of wonky. A little, a little wonky, I think. But I think it's just the headlights. The grille looks alright, and I think it's just the headlights that make it a little, look a little wonky. I'm just putting um, vents on the side because it's mid. It is mid-engine. Now I'm just doing the rear. I didn't really have a theme going for the rear. I just did whatever looked all right for me. To me, I think it looks all right. I ended up giving it a wing. But just, just a little wing. I think it did turn out pretty good. Could have. I'm not very good at designing cars, so yeah. But for my level of designing cars, I think it, it's all right. I ended up na naming it the Crown 6500 because it's a 6500. CC or 6.5 liter um, V12 engine, so that's the 6500. Not good at coming out with names, so I just went with Crown. Took a while for me to decide what uh, wheels I'd like, what rims. Eventually, I went with these ones because they match the era, the 2020. I'm just adding a little extra stuff to it and just tuning the that bit. And yep, that's about it. Just giving the name and that'll be it. Okay guys. I have finished the car, 
I think it looks alright. The front's a little bit weird. But, yeah. And also the back's a little bit weird, but, yeah. I have decided to make it a 6.5 litre. Dual overhead cam. But, yeah. V12. Makes about... 1100 kilowatts of power and 1700 newton meters of torque. Rose up to 10,000 RPM, which is a screamer. Um, let's take a listen. Yeah, that is really loud. So, I will import it to BeamNG Drive, and yeah, we'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, we are in BeamNG Drive, on the automation test track. Just doing a rev to hear what it's like. Not a backfire. Let's take this for a spin, let's take it out of electronic stability control and let's go. Let's just reset. And let's try that again. Oh, 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 oh. Just reset. Re re What's going on? Oh, that was weird. Uh, something just happened, I think. Just um, just cutting a little bit there. Thank you. 
Apple's alright. Move it to another map. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I am back, and we're in West Coast USA, so in the city. So let's give it. Let's just drive around a little bit. Let's just reset, we're gonna go the other Zero to sixty right here. Oh, you want one hundred. Thank you. 
tree. Let's just reset. That'll be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.